Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Girls Pod. I'm your host, Noah Hammond, alongside with Matt Velez. Today, we'll be talking to the junior defender of the women's soccer team, Liz Deal. Liz, before we get started, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Liz Deal. I'm a junior on the women's soccer team here. Um, I'm a captain with another girl named Lauren, and my major is accounting with minor in finance. Now, uh, so you played a lot this year. You played 1,440 minutes played. <sighs> You didn't miss a minute in any game you played. Um, I want to talk about a little bit of how did you get into soccer and how did you get that love for it where you could just keep playing and not give up? So I grew up with a lot of siblings and I'm one of seven. I'm six. So all my older siblings, they all played sports all throughout their lives. Damn. So just as growing up, I went to all their games. I went to their practices. So my parents put me in at a young age. And ever since then, I've loved all the sports I've played. Um, but soccer definitely stood out. Love that. As like back-to-back -back athletes, because Will has uh, seven siblings, right? Yeah, well, last week. Duddy yeah. has seven siblings. Yeah, yeah. everyone got and, uh, Duddy's girlfriend, Lauren, is the captain over there. So it works out perfectly. Yeah, this is a yeah. small school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Small school. <laughs> but so when you speak of captain, you know, what, how, how did you become a captain? So what did you demonstrate to, to get that role? Um, I think it's really important to show like leadership and like have accountability, um, be able to control yourself on the field, like influence your teammates, push right. them to be harder. Um, I think that's something me and Lauren really example well. Um, we're always like uplifting our teammates and just like trying to push our teammates to be the best for our team to be the best. That's great. Um, I want to talk about a little bit how long you've been playing soccer. So you've been here for three years, but how long have you been playing before? Um, I probably started when I was around four or five and like the little legs and then, you know, you start mm -hmm. travel and you get so excited and then you get better, bigger fields and then I went to high school. I played four years of varsity there at um, St. Basil's and then took a year off and then found my way back to soccer 2021. Yeah, we're going to get into that in a little bit for sure. Um, I want to talk about the CT experience. Now, you're from here. You're from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been around. How did you get here is the question. Um, I never really thought of a school that I wanted to go to because it was so small. I was thinking bigger. But then at my high school, really small school, so then I was like, maybe smaller classrooms are better. It's really close to home. My parents come to all the games. My family comes to the games. And came here, and I really love it here. So. And, and so far, being a, being a junior, like what is, what is your favorite part about CHC? Um, I feel like the time in between classes where everyone <laughs> hangs out and just messes around, laughs, have fun, do stupid things. It's yeah. fun. It's a fun time. Yesterday yeah. we had a donut eating competition. Mm -hmm. Ollie versus Nick. Yeah. yeah. How'd that go? Nick, Nick sus 12 donuts in 14 minutes and 12 seconds. 14 minutes, 12 donuts? 14 minutes, it was 12 crazy. donuts. Molly what? ate about seven and a half, but she, put, she was putting them down. Mm -hmm. But so those where, little where things that? that really make it fun. Where was this at? It, right in the social, right in the middle of the social. Oh, okay. I walked into school and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I want to talk about. A little bit about the adversity. So we brought up the little gap year that you took. Mm -hmm. What adversity have you faced to get where you are today? Mm -hmm. So I graduated high school in 2020, which was when COVID hit. Um, I came out not knowing what I what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, if I wanted to play or not. So I just thought it was smarter for me to take the year off instead of waste money at somewhere I wasn't positive about. Um, so I worked for the whole year. Wasn't even thinking about getting into sports. And then my high school soccer coach talked to me about Chestnut Hill, um, had me reach out to the coach, and then toured the school, really liked it, and then came here. Kind of helped me because I, it was like a guide and like an easier transition to get back into college because after taking that gap year, like yeah. it's hard to jump back in. Even cool. same thing, where was I gonna go? What was I gonna do? Mm -hmm. But having that like extra push and foot in the door Really thankful for that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And with and with so many minutes played, so many games played, you know, what is what like what is your favorite part about playing soccer? Um, I like slide tackling. I like a little getting <laughs> dirty. I like the competition. <laughs> um, just being girl to the ball, getting it before her, blocking shots. I play defense, so like getting my ball in any part of the body just to like deflect it or block it or anything. It's rewarding. Yeah. Um, yeah, you are a defender. I want to talk about a little bit about the 2022 season. Now, you made the all-tournament team for the CACC in the tournament. You guys made it all the way to the CAG Championships, despite a, a loss. But um, you guys had six shutouts that year, and it was a stellar defense. Damn. Can you talk about that year and how that year was so big for you guys? It was the first time in program history where you guys made it to the championship game. Mm -hmm. 
it was a really awarding year. Um, we came in kind of on the underdog. I feel like we get looked down upon, but making that run to the tournament, like it was a lot of fun. The team had a lot of fun. We were building together. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win, but it was definitely a great experience. And like, it was rewarding even to get there. Yeah, I bet. It was mm-hmm. awesome. It was worth the ride and everything. And yeah. Just, yeah the, the, the journey to, to get there and everything. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Yeah. It was a good experience. 100%. Um, so now you guys are in the off season. What skills are you trying to improve on in the off season to get you to that next level next year? Um, I think as a defender, like something I have to work on is kind of like not all times, but knowing when to push forward, when to get up the field to make those runs to create more space. Mm-hmm. Um, just staying in shape, getting extra touches on the ball, better footwork. You can always improve. So we talk about staying in shape, but you are a two sport athlete right now. Mm -hmm. You are playing women's lacrosse as well with a couple of the girls around here. Tell us a little bit about that. How's your experience been the first year? How's your experience with that? It's definitely humbling coming from a sport where you played all the time. You know what you're doing. You're confident in yourself and then transitioning to a new sport where you know nothing, you know, none of the rules. You have to pick it all up and learn. Um, it's fun. We're not the best. We're still learning, but everything like we celebrate all of our small victories, mm-hmm. catching the ball, throwing the ball. It's something that it's hard, yeah. but you can celebrate the small victories and then grow to become better. 100%. Yeah, I, I can I can attest to that because when I come into your games, you're very enthusiastic and you're just over the little things, but they go a long way, mm-hmm. you know. And so just all those things in the process when either they scoop up a ball or they're on offense like their old your whole team is cheering the entire yeah. way through and that's that, that's teams, love yeah they're like why are they celebrating that yeah, like, yeah. you don't understand like yeah. this is big this is yeah. good yeah um let's th- let's talk about next year what are we looking forward from you guys next year like what is the what's the level we want to get to next year um i think it's really important once again to come in and shape it's a long season we run a lot we train a lot um i think for like the younger classmen they don't think of that that much but like i played here for three years now we know how important it is to come in and shape and to be able to get those extra touches in the summer so when you come back you're making better touches you're improving like it's really the off season where you have to put in the extra work where not everyone's watching you like yeah, you're not like being told what to do you just have to do it by yourself right, yeah. and really take accountability that mental game yeah, mm-hmm. for yeah sure. people just expect to see you know the results when and when you're on the field and everything yeah and, but, and just uh just one final question. I want to ask you, what is the relationship with your teammates in both women's lacrosse and in soccer? Um, I love my teammates. They're a bunch of fun. Um, we have all these inside jokes together. We're constantly laughing, listening to music, singing, dancing. Like, it's always a good vibe with each other, and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a great group of girls. When they mm-hmm. come, like, after they have, we have practice, they come on with the speaker, and they're playing music, yeah. and they're having fun. It's cool to see. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Honestly, it's cool to see. Well, Thank you guys t- for tuning in to another episode of the Grish Pods. Uh, go follow this deal on Insta, which will be linked in the description. And come back next week for another episode. Thank you guys. All right, guys. Thank you.